Hey there view, today I'm going to go through the fourth step of the build a battle station app project. It's about adding business logic to the project. So let's get started. Create, uh, what we'll do is creating a validation rule, creating an automated process with the lightning process builder. And that's about it. So now we have our basic app in place and users can maintain data and manage the project. However, we have some business rules for these type of projects and we would like to put it into place. Building a battle station is not all sunshine, rainbows and lollipops. It's hard work that has to be done right. As you may have heard, we have had problems in the past with exhaust ports. There are too many of them and they are apparently very easy to shoot missiles into. This tends to make them blow up. We want to prevent those pesky rebels from blowing up our battle stations. Again, by fully staffing our project with enough exhaust port inspectors to catch unsecured exhaust ports. The exhaust port inspectors need to be fully staffed on each project and even put in overtime hours. Boss can spot an open exhaust port from a power sack away. You will need to create a validation rule that prevents users from saving a record for an exhaust port inspector if the utilization is less than 150%. Let's hope this keeps our battle station from being blown to smithereens this time. So let's open the... Sandbox here, what's it called? The playground. Um, actually, after the last step was finished, I checked, I reloaded it, and uh, the number of uh, crew members I think it was uh, was actually showing, so that works. I can actually show you, show you here really quick. I think it was resources, I'm not really sure, or it was showing under the obliteration station here. These are crew members, you can see it, so it's actually working. I just had to reload and that was it. So let's get started with this one. Select object manager, click resource validation. Okay, let's go into split screen to make this a bit easier. Click resource, validation rules, okay. New. Name Andrew, inspectors must work over time. For the error condition formula, you want to prevent the record from being safe for an exhaust port inspector with a utilization of less than 150%. Enter the formula as and name exhaust ports. Inspector utilization. That was a custom field we created before, and the value is less than 1.5. So here, actually, we can invert this as well. Like if we want to, like manually come out with this, so we can do it here. It's kind of a weird validation rule, but uh, anyway, so let's check the syntax here. And then we copy this. Okay, we have the extra. Dot 
Start. No errors found. Error message. Uh, exhaust pause inspectors must work at least 150%. No coffee breaks. For the error location, click the field radio button and select the utilization field. Save button, now go back to your battle station record and enter a new resource type of exhaust post inspector with a utilization less than 150. You should now see an error message preventing users from entering bad data. Resources. Quantity ten. Utilization 110. And the battle station is going to be our liberation station. Okay, let's save this. And we get the error here. Um, previously, I made an, uh, a mistake just uh, having a similar shortcut that ended up pausing the video and I didn't know uh, where to start. Um, there was an issue with the validation rule. Here is the port inspector is lowercase but here it's uppercase so the case needs to match I need to change it to uppercase here for the error message to work so if in case you have an issue with the error message not showing it's because of the case here is actually wrong and needs to be uppercase so this is lowercase but needs to be uppercase so that's something to keep in mind so yeah so that worked so let's continue here automate with lightning process builder lightning process builder is a workflow tool that helps you easily automate your business process by providing a powerful and user-friendly graphical representation of your process as you build it you simply point and click to build your process, which run behind the scenes in response to actions. You'll build a process that updates the project as complete when the weapon system is changed to fully operational. From setup, enter process builder in the quick find box. Click new for the process name, enter fully operational battle station. API name will automatically populate. Record changes and click the save button. And the object. When a record is created or edited. Click the save button at criteria.
You configure the process to only run if the weapon status value has been changed to fully operational. Enter now fully operational for the criteria name and select conditions on it. I think we need to enlarge this for it to show you. Yeah. Field weapon status. Status again. Equals fully operational. So when a record changes, and the conditions are met, is changed. The weapons are changed. It's true. And when the weapons are set to fully operational. Then an action will take place, which is to update records, update status. Choose set new field values for the record to update by clicking the p field pick list. Select project status, change value to complete. One last action before you put our process into effect. When the project is complete and the weapons are operational, we want to announce our amazing accomplishments by posting a message to Chetu. This should make your boss breathe much easier. Click the Add Action button. For the action type, select Post to Chetu. to chatter for the message enter battle station name is complete
Actually, you could choose this here as well. It would enter the string, so again, you can easily like replicate it. Even though it looks like a bit cryptic here, you can easily like replicate these steps if needed. So there's like you don't need to like uh, recall any of this like string, whatever it's called stuff. And yeah, no real programming needed, as I also stated when we started this project. So let's save this. Now we activate it and confirm it. Now that you have finished, the entire process should look like this. Yeah, kind of sort of, okay, now it looks like this. Test your process, time to see the process in action, simply edit the battle station record, set the weapon status to fully operational and click save, so let's do this. And it updated the status here as well to complete. I think it wasn't complete before, right? So that works. So let's go through this again. So we uh, created a validation rule and automated the process. Validation rule. We already went through. So basically, we needed. Um, a utilization of 150% if it's less cannot be saved and that error appears and uh, here the process automation if a record is updated and these conditions are met which um, were that the weapon status is complete and what else Let's see. The status is changed and the status is like fully operational equals to that. Then this action will take place, which is update the status to um, complete and to post this in the chatter. So that's those are the two actions we added. If you already went through the process automation stuff, it should be like relatively straightforward. If you haven't gone through that, you can also click uh, on my channel name and uh, find it there. Uh, like process automation or automate business process or something like that, you should find it there. Okay, this one is complete. So let's go to maybe the last step. I'm not sure. Let's go to the next one. And um, yeah, if this is like a first video you watched or uh, you just resume watching, you can find the next one in the description in the play. You can find a playlist link there.